Hello everyone. So today Minnesota traded for a kicker, Corey Vedic. I've heard it pronounced Corey. Has two A's. He's from Norway. Hopefully didn't botch it. But he was also kicking well for Baltimore last preseason. And he kind of got assaulted in Baltimore and ended up on the non-football injury list. And then here we are to this year. He just kind of was on their team till then, kind of almost like an IR kind of thing. But he does play kicker and punter, and he's also a kickoff specialist. So neither Bailey or Weil are really safe, so to speak. And in his previous two preseasons, he has gone for a total of 22 of 23, 11 of 12 on the field goal, so 91.6%, and 11 for 11 on extra points. This does include a 55-yarder from the other night and has reports of hitting a 70-yarder in practice before. So punts, once again, it's the other night. Average 55 and a half yards. He had a long of 58 in that game, and he also had a 92-yard punt when he was at college in Marshall, which is the seventh longest all-time for a punter, and just a punt. And it does get a little interesting, though, just because Zim has been defending Dan Bailey these entire training camp because he hasn't had a great practice yet. So he's always been saying, well, it's been a holder issue. We have a long snapper battle going on. You know, all of the works, so to speak. And just kind of pointing at everything other than Dan Bailey. So he might not be a kicker, but could be a punter slash holder. So we also have to look at the fact that he could be a kicker, though, because Matt Weil, he hasn't been bad, so to speak. He's been average in terms of, you know, both. Well, last year he was average in both terms of just normal punt average and his net average. And... Where his real issue is, is kind of going back to that holder situation. Before Matt Wilde came to Minnesota, he never held. So now there's kind of been issues with the holder, and then the chemistry's off with Dan Bailey, and then a whole lot of things. So could he be a replacement for Matt Wilde because he can hold? Maybe. But also, do you spend a fifth round draft pick on a guy who was highly sought after as a kicker to bring in just to be a punter slash holder. It's a little questionable just because it's been 23 years since a kicker was traded for anything more than a sixth round draft pick. So you do that just for a punter slash holder. You would think this would be a kicker, but once again, they've kind of not really shown their hand much in letting Zim just defend Dan Bailey all the time and saying it's everything but Dan's problem. So, questionable. And I do think this would pose similar issues as to last year. Because if you remember last year, we drafted Daniel Carlson in the fifth round. And you still kind of have that whole thing where it's like... Mm. Not really a competition because you did trade a fifth round draft pick for this kicker. That's the one that makes the roster, which would make sense. So not really much of a battle. You're forcing Zim to go with the young guy. Didn't work out that well last time. Going to be honest. And you might have a similar thing there. Like at least if he's a punter, you have that whole dynamic of, well, you can see them getting rid of Matt Weil. It's just hard to see them paying a fifth-round price for a punter when you probably could have found another average-ish punter just off the street, maybe, who can hold. So why would you go through the trouble of trading a fifth-round draft pick for a guy who will just hold? It's a little interesting. And... There is the chance 
he could do both the kicking and the punting because they have been messing with holders. Chad Beebe was the one today, and I don't know. That saves you a roster spot, but, you know, obviously his leg would be a little sore after games, I would think. But there is a chance he could do both. I'm not banking that he will do both, but he technically is capable of doing it. And what happened <laughs> to make room for Vedic, Vedvik is Kevin McDermott was cut, so Austin Cutting officially won the long snapper battle, even though, once again, very similar situation with the kicker last year. You drafted a long snapper. You're going to choose that long snapper. So another thing that did happen today, Tyler Catalina, guard slash tackle, was cut today in favor of Nate Wozniak, kind of just camp body for camp body. And I do think that covers all of the news for today. But I'd like to know what you guys think if this guy here is either kicker or punter. Maybe both. Maybe. I'd like to get your thoughts. It's questionable where he does lie. I do think he's more than capable at both spots. He's obviously a very good talent. Just does that <laughs> translate into regular season, or do we have another Daniel Carlson on our hands for at least this year? Because, you know, but even though Carlson did go on to have a good year in Oakland, just not so much here. But until next time, I've been Jalado.